It's Kofsi TV and we're at the Dayan Theatre for the main TEDx UFS event. The theme is Impossible is Nothing and today we've got speakers like Lebo Mashile on the lineup. The crowd is amped up. I'm excited too and I've got my ticket so let's check it out. Now you spoke to us about leadership and the girl with pup and oil. So how would you say impossible is nothing, the theme for today fits in your life? I think that leadership, education and technology is the greatest equalizer in the world that we live in today. And it is because of that that impossible becomes nothing. Because a young person who lives in the most rural of areas, if he or she is equipped with education and with a piece of technology, the world is their oyster. I mean, we've seen the number of tech companies that have disrupted entire industries. Um, Uber, for an example, is a great example. Uh, particularly in the South African context, the taxi industry as a whole has been disrupted by a piece of technology. And so that demonstrates that indeed impossible is nothing. You, in the beginning of your talk, you spoke to us about the fear of public speaking. Mm. How would you say a person can use this particular fear or anxiety in a positive light and instead of being fearful? I think fear and anxiety is just an idea that we have in our heads. And um, before doing this, I was really mortified about doing a, a speech in front of a big audience like this. But I think it's about then conditioning our minds to think differently, to see the opportunity uh, rather than the fear. And I think if you condition your mind to think that way, that it becomes a positive. Okay, then how would you advise someone else to use the theme impossible noth is nothing in their lives? I think it's a mentality that you have adopted, you know, no matter what background you come from, what community that you live in, I mean, Bloemfontein is a great place, um, don't let it restrict what you want to achieve in life, okay, meaning your dreams and your desires. So you need to think beyond and not just see what is in front of you. See the beauty within the chaos and not for the chaos by itself. So tell me, you're in the audience today and what stuck out for you? Ooh, um, the... The speaker on the um, robot thing was very good. Um, he was very um, creative. He, that, it really inspired me that he came up with that whole idea and how he came up with it and um, that it can be used with such young kids and especially for us because we're both teachers, um, that it can be used for us as a teacher and we can use it in our schools in the future and it can create more productive thinkers in the children. Yeah. And what's that got for you? Believe it or not, the exact same. <laughs> um, she mentioned that we're both studying teaching, so um, I think it could be valuable, especially we're studying foundation phase, so it's the little ones. I feel implementing that at a young age is necessary um, and crucial, and in the end, I feel we'll be like covering more ground rather than trying to make up for it at a later stage. So I think. And what does impossible is nothing mean to you? Meaning, you know, reach for the stars, like don't limit yourself, just keep, like, keep growing and keep um, challenging yourself, don't limit yourself at anything, that's what I think. It and to you? The world is yours, take it, so, yeah. The world is yours, reach for your stars, and that comes from two future teachers. Now, as a writer, a poet, how important do you think talking is, sending messages across to people? I think stories shape who we are, um, stories shape memory, stories shape identity. Um, the times that I've felt like my work has been most meaningful has been when people have told me that what I do makes them feel like they can be more themselves, you know? Uh, I feel really lucky also when some people come up to me and say to me that me writing poetry has inspired them to write poetry. So I think, you know, stories have the power to heal, they have the power to transcend, and they, they keep us alive. So, you know, the, the business of, of talking, of writing, it's, it's active, it's powerful, it's, it's very important. And you also mentioned perspective and identity. Now, the theme today is impossible is nothing. What do you have to say to the individual who only knows what they're not? Ooh, 
Oh, what a brilliant question. <gasps> oh, if you feel invisible, you have to ask yourself, who does your invisibility benefit? So who benefits when you feel ugly? Who benefits when you feel worthless? Who benefits when you feel stupid? Who makes money off of you? Who can make decisions for you? Who can control you? Who can control your body? If you can answer those questions, then you can start to find the origins of the people who have taken away your power. And once you can name that, then you can start to slowly, slowly, slowly claim your power back and surround yourself with things that make you feel more like you, with stories that fill up your heart and images that make you feel beautiful. And when you can do that piece by piece by piece by piece by piece, you can start to build a world that supports you and that inspires you and that allows you to be the best of who you are in this world. Hi, I'm Tsiamo. I'm here at the TEDx UFS event. It's been really motivational and inspirational for me. I think as a young person, it's taught me and the highlight has been that what I might think is impossible today might be possible tomorrow. And I think the event is teaching me to change tomorrow today. I think that's really important for a lot of us young people because we aren't exposed to all of these ideas every single day and we think that it's something for the big adults to do. But I think this event has told me that as a young person, what I might see impossible today might be very much possible tomorrow. And all I have to do is change my mindset. And that's why I think impossible is nothing. And I'm excited to be here. Thank you for the wonderful event. Perspective, identity, leadership, and peer activism. We heard about these from great speakers today at the TEDx UFS main event. The theme was Impossible is Nothing, and we had the likes of Lebo Mashile and Thierry Lucier. Now, if you weren't here, don't worry, because Kofi TV was here to bring it to you real and raw. Impossible is nothing, and you're watching Coxie TV.